in the late 1950s. Captain Joseph Kittinger was a pilot in the Air Force, tapped for experimental aviation and skydiving duty in New Mexico. He wasn't a household name. In fact, hardly anybody knew the first thing about him until August 16, 1960, when he donned a red duct tape pressure suit and boarded an open-sided gondola tethered to an onion-shaped helium balloon. He flew that rig nearly 20 miles high until he reached the thin atmospheric line where everything goes from blue to black. He traveled to a place where the horizon did not exist. He was above and beyond all previously known limitations. Suspended at 102,800 feet, he unclipped his harness and stepped into space. His free fall lasted nearly five minutes. His maximum velocity was 614 miles per hour. He plummeted over 80,000 vertical feet before his primary chute opened. This was no Red Bull sponsored party. It wasn't a television show. Kittinger wasn't an entertainer. He was an experiment.